Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, I Dream of Wigs. Today I'm gonna to be showing you Noriko's new Harlow in this beautiful color, rose gold rooted. Stay tuned and I'll give you all the details. So first I would just like to thank TL Wigs for sending me this wig today so that I can do this review for you. Now TL Wigs is a brand new online wig company. The website is currently being built as we speak and is expected to be finished within the next week, two at the most. So bear with us on that. And until then, you can join our Facebook group and I will link that in the description. The Facebook group is called TL Wigs, Support, Inspiration, and Education. Until the website is completed, you can join the group, like I said, and that is where you will buy all of your wigs directly through Tracy, who is the owner of TL Wigs. So we look forward to seeing you, and let's get started on this review today. So Harlow by Noriko is a brand new style, actually one of three that was just released for fall of 2022. Um, the three new releases are Brett, Storm, and the one that I'm wearing, Harlow. Like I said, this one is in rose gold rooted, and it's just a beautiful color. Um, every one of my wigs from Noriko, uh, Renea Paris, Amore, I usually tend to stick with the same color, this rose gold rooted. Once I find something that I like, um, I really don't venture out a whole lot because I know what I like and I know what I'm going to get. So rose gold rooted is a, the base color is the gold blonde. And then we have some reddish highlights through there and it's on a medium brown root. Now, the color code itself is kind of deceiving when it says rose gold, because there really isn't a whole lot, if any, rose in this. And I have been outside in this, and like I said, this is my normal color for Noriko and Amore, and I have yet to find any rose in it. If anything, it's more of a golden base with blonder, lighter blonde highlights. Now I will go outside and we will see, see you can see the different shades of blonde through it, but it, it really doesn't pick up any kind of red. So the color code, like I said, is a little bit deceiving. So I'm gonna do a spin really quick before I forget because I have a tendency to do that. And also I will link my measurements in the description as well. Um, I'm just going to start doing that so that I don't have to go over it every time. So my head measurements will always be listed in the description. Okay, so let's do a full spin and see what she looks like all the way around. And it's just a nice, fine, you can run your fingers through it. It just feels like real healthy, silky hair. And you can see that it is a straight style that's layered. There's layers throughout of this and it kind of has these little flippies going on. Um, it's a really, really cute style. Piece here, the fringe is seven and a half. The crown is 11. The nape is nine and a half. And we have an overall length of about 15, maybe 16 inches. The top does have a lot of permatease, especially right up here where the natural part is and this is not a mono cap it is a basic cap with no mono features so you do have the option of you know flipping it however you want because there is no designated part i have tried that just playing with it you know flipping it and seeing how it looks and it came out of the box naturally this way 
and I've flipped it back and forth and all kinds of things to see how you know it would look in other directions. But yes, permatees, there is a lot of permatees on this. So if you want a lot of volume and you want to be able to, you know, push this up and then uh, with your product, you know, maybe like spray it out on the sides, we'll go ahead and apply a little bit. I don't like using a lot of product on my straighter styles, but to get some lift there, and I did like the, um, the stock photo that it shows, how it's down. So if you are brand new to wigs and you don't know what I mean by basic cap, sorry, that's my laptop. A basic cap is one that is machine made. Um, it doesn't have any, like I said, special features as far as a lace front or any kind of monofilament parting. Um, it's all sewn in there by machine. So it does have the velvet ear tabs with bendable stays. You can see the open wefting on the sides and the back. And here is your nape. Like I said, it is not extended. And we have the little slide adjusters. Um, I am a 22 and a half inch circumference. And I will tell you that this one is fitting me a little bit snug. So, and it's all the way out. I'm sure it's probably going to stretch, but it is, like I said, fitting me a little bit snug. Styling. I think that if you wanted to put some sides up, and of course I don't have my clips here whenever I want, I think that you could do that even with it being a basic cap. And I think it would look really cute with a little bit of both sides pulled up and then have you some longer fringe here. So I'm gonna get up close so that you can see this basic cap. Let me look in my mirror here. It does have some of the permatees right here so that that makes it look like your hair coming down. So easy, I think, again, to do off of the face if you wanted to pull each side back like this, I think you could get away with it because I don't think that anybody is going to be right up there at your forehead looking and even if they are, they're not going to know. So. I'm going to head outside and try and get some pictures of this in the natural lighting. It's a little bit overcast today, so I may not be able to get really good, but I will try. So again, like I said, if you would like this wig or any others, join us on our Facebook group, TL Wigs, Support, Inspiration, and Education. Again, I'm going to link it in the description. And thank you for joining me and have a great day.